Today, I'm gonna to share with you the myths and facts about VA loans. Hi, I'm Nathan Dane, a realtor with the Krista Hartman Home Team, and today I wanted to share with you the myths and facts about VA financing. Because there's a lot of misconceptions about the rules with VA loans, and I wanted to set the record straight. And make sure to stay to the end of this video, because I'll share why knowing this information can mean the difference between you getting your dream house or struggling to get your offer accepted. And if you're a veteran watching this, thank you for your service. And as a small thank you for serving our country, the government created an amazing loan product when buying a home. So what is a VA loan and who qualifies? Well, a VA loan is a loan product for purchasing a home anyone who has served or is serving in the military can get. And a little known fact is that surviving spouses also can use a VA loan when buying a house. Now the VA loan is a great loan that requires 0% down. Most other loan products require a down payment of at least 3.5 or 5% of the purchase amount for the home. And that means veterans don't need to bring extra cash to closing because the loan will pay for the purchase of the entire house. Typically, mortgage insurance is required for loans where the borrower, aka the buyer, puts less than 20% down. And depending on the size of the loan, mortgage insurance can cost a few hundred dollars each month. But with a VA loan, there is no mortgage insurance, which is amazing. And finally, the VA loan uh, has interest rates that are also typically lower than FHA and conventional loans. So this loan sounds pretty great, doesn't it? Less upfront costs and lower mortgage payments. But there's a lot of misconceptions about this loan product. And I want to set the record straight because when someone is selling their house, they typically want to sell it for the highest price possible with the least amount of headaches as possible. And that means reducing the likelihood that the buyer can't follow through with the contract. And so there are a few myths that are surrounding VA loans that I wanted to tackle. So myth number one is that you can only use a VA loan once. And this is totally false. It's true you do need to use it as your primary residency, but you're able to use this loan many times. If you're being relocated by the military or switching to a new office, you're allowed to get another VA loan without paying off your first. If you're not sure if you qualify or not, just check with your lender. If you don't have a lender, I got a few great ones for you. Myth number two is that VA buyers aren't as qualified as conventional buyers. And there's this perception that VA buyers aren't as qualified as buyers using a conventional loan because people think this because the lending requirements for conventional loans are higher and requires a larger down payment. But it's not true that all VA buyers are less qualified. To get a conventional loan, you only need a 620 credit score and a debt to income ratio of less than 50%. The average veteran has a credit score over 700 and a debt to income ratio of less than 45%. Myth number three is that VA buyers don't have as much cash available as conventional buyers because it's a 0% down loan. The amount of money required for the down payment for a loan product has no correlation with how much money someone has. In fact, having a lower down payment can mean that the buyer has more cash available because they don't have to use it for a down payment. And this can be helpful during the nego negotiation periods because the VA buyer might have more cash available to fix some issues that come up with the house during inspections. Finally, myth number four is that VA appraisals always come in lower and makes the seller fix everything within their house. In this hot market, buyers and sellers both get concerned that the appraisal can come in lower than the agreed purchase price. And this can derail and prevent the buyer from getting the house. 
And there's a perception that VA appraisals come in low and that the appraiser will make the seller fix issues with the home. The VA appraiser can and does call out safety concerns that need to be fixed prior to closing. But there's only safety concerns that they'll call out like missing railings or exposed electrical wires. Things that an occupancy inspector would most likely call out anyways. And the VA appraisers don't call out things like ugly cabinets that don't close or a cracked shower tile or stuff like that. Secondly, the VA appraisals come in at or above the purchase price 85% of the time. Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, the two largest buyers of conventional loans, appraise only 80% of the time. The VA is the only loan program that allows lenders and real estate professionals to weigh in on the appraisal arguing why the home's value is in fact what the purchase price is. On the other hand, uh, the other loans, the agents can't tell the appraiser what other homes have sold for in the area and really argue why the home should be valued at what the purchase price is. It's really sad, but there's a lot of myths surrounding VA loans. And sadly, it makes it harder sometimes to get an offer accepted using VA financing. It's truly awful because men and women serving our country and earned this benefit using the VA loan, uh, and it's an amazing loan product, but can't get their offers accepted. And that's why it is so important for you to use an agent who knows the facts about VA loans to help you stand out when making an offer on a home. Two ways that I use this information to help my buyers get their offers accepted is to have my buyer's lender call the listing agent and share how qualified the buyer is. So the agent knows there'd be no issues with the buyer getting to the closing table. The second is that I share these facts with the listing agent and why the VA financing is easier to work with and a greater likelihood of protecting the agreed upon sale price. I'd love to help you and help you find a home just like you've served our country.